Ready? I'm ready. All right. Welcome back, everyone. We're here again in Hogwarts Legacy. In well, I think I'm going to make this part 21.5 because in this part we're just going to be doing some side quests and getting some more of the you know the statues. I can never remember the name. The D Dedalian. No, that's the keys. The other, the, you know, the statues for Aloha Mora. And beyond that. If we have time, we'll get to some more stuff, but I'm thinking we're probably not going to have time to do more than that. So, without further ado, there was actually a chest right there. Hold on. I just saw it on the map. Where's it at? Ah. In the crashed cart. Oh, brown and gold. That doesn't match our wand at all. So then... We don't have any quests right by us, but there was, yeah, two down here, evasive maneuvers, and, hey, need this other one, a thief in the night. So, let's go get those taken care of, or should we do some Merlin trials along the way? Yeah, let's get some Merlin trials done. All right, well, since it's nighttime, well, we just need one more, so let's get this Merlin trial done real quick, and then this see place about... Has seen better days. What do you have in store for me this time? Oh, man. And there's that. There's have all kinds of stuff to do over here. With I mean, all right, who else is there? Would be proud. 10 out of 10. There we go. I finally looked at it. Right on the last one. <laughs> Alright. Let's get our gear slots. Since now I finally know that you actually have to, um, you know, get it. Where were the Merlin trials? I don't even remember. Oh, pop balloons. That's what it's for, for brooms. Lock challenge. What's the lock challenge? Is that dark arts stuff? Possibly. Here we go. Complete Merlin trials. Increase gear storage. This one, 14. Is that... No, there's one more after that. So how much... Did we have any new gear? We may have some new gear. Uh, yes, we have a new outfit. It doesn't look like it's any good. Nope. Got this one that's level locked and no good. This one we don't know about. Okay, so for a new outfit, yeah, I think we'll go with those. Our hair doesn't really match. We almost need to go get some red hair or something. Collections? I don't think we care much about collections. So let's get our ancient magic going. I didn't have any for that one. Alright. Ooh, level up from that too. Rebellion. Nice. That means our level lock stuff should be available now. Let's we'll we'll see what else is over here. I think about there should be good. Leviosa. What else is in this tower? A big old chest. An identified face item. Alright. Well, I think we're gonna head and get some statues. So there was one in the hog's head, I believe. So where was that statue? Now, I think it's around back. Yeah, demi guys, that's the ones. There it is. Demi guys, moon. We do have to go back to the room five. We've got, okay. Yeah, I figured it would be there. We got 
three coins to bring back. So I think we should head to Hogwarts because we need to identify some stuff and then possibly look for some things in Hogwarts. Keys and demiguises. Demiguise? Is it plural already? I don't know. Oh, we were going to change our hairstyle. Got some new stuff. Old Giro. New gloves. Not any good. Oh, we do have some better ones, though. 70 and deafening. Increased damage with Mandrake. Yeah, we'll do that. Just got to remember to use the Mandrake more often. Do those look all right? They do not. What were we wearing? We were wearing these ones. And some new glasses. Oh, face mask. And that's 79. With binding, manipulation, Imperio. Yeah, we don't do Imperio. So that doesn't matter. And what else? There was this one that was level locked, right? Because we're wearing the legendary. So three points. Damage from Inferi, or damage with, yeah, we'll keep that on, I think. I don't think the three points is really worth it. So yeah, that should be good. And then that one handle we got, I don't really care about, because it's not really what I want. Let's head up to Ravenclaw Tower, which is this one. Yes. I haven't been there in quite a while. Equipping better gear. It's always calling me out, saying I have crappy gear. That's it. I'm making good progress with these tokens. What do we got? Four left. So. It doesn't seem like there's four places I haven't been. Oh, that's right. There's this challenge. So, there's this one. Interact. Confringo. Okay, so you need to be three. And then you are you one? You are two. And then, what's the other two? Triangle thing is one. No, oh, they're both triangle things. Triangle with a circle is three. Oh, because that's not three, that's four. You need to be four. So triangle with a circle is three, and triangle with lines is one. So, let's so get a blast. And blast you. So this is one. It's already one. And this is three. It's all of Hogwarts secrets. Whoa. We're glitching out a little bit. Here we go. This must be legendary. Unidentified head item. Hopefully it's nice looking because we do not have enough nice hats. Yes, new hat. And then I think we'll go to Hogsmeade real quick. Get our hair. A uh, whimsical nightcap. Boring. Take this. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Yep, very proud. All right, what about leveling any of our stuff up? House elves and wizard Didn't get a new instrument yet? All right, I'm not giving you any more money until I see a new instrument. There's a cat. Cat, cat. Hang on. Cancel everything. Gotta pet the cat. Nice, kitty. Yeah. I don't know if it sounds maybe a little better. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. But it still sounds kind of weird. So yeah, we need some red hair or something going on. Maybe a, a dark pink. We'll see come what in, we can do. Come on in. Don't be shy. What is it you might be interested in? At least we've got in? some light this time. That'll help. 
Yeah, I think we might need a new cut too about this. That'll work. And then confirm. The last time I just exited out is so annoying. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. All right, we look butch now. That's fine though. We got the dragon coat on. We're we're allowed to look butch. So then there was this goblin. We're gonna go. Oh, there's two things. This guy needs some help. Spot removal. Speak with the Hufflepuff. Needs a favor. Or the goblin. I think this guy's been here longer, so we'll do him first. Oh, there's a chest we should get. Hello. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, biscuit. I wonder if they're tasty. A mooncalf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus. Or even a goose that lays golden eggs. I wouldn't mind a goose I'll that lays golden eggs. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnet. How kind. If only all of Wizard Kine was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should yeah, try and rescue dealt with poachers before. Path. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Alright, well maybe we can kill two birds with one stone. Let's see what that other person up here wants. Is there a blue location nearby? No, not really. Hopefully really you allow here flying in here. No, here we leave. Pardon Got me? that so backwards, Might they I need to fix that trigger. Sure. Hello. We're Is in there business of favors right now. With? How do you do? I'm Zacharissa Tugwood, and I, I have like an exciting hair. business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. Sure. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvelous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Well, at least she's honest. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you Could mustn't go, tarry. But I don't want to. Poachers! Garnif was right then. I'd better be careful. Careful means invisible. And invisible means we can ha disrupt the poacher. Reducto cast with Depulso. Oh. Oh. Depulso is over here. I don't really know how to accomplish that, but we will try. Ooh, I've heard centaurs quieter than you. I think so. Hey, go. Amateur, confringo. 
Blast you up good. What was the You're the one who stole the goblin. Glacier and Fringo. Your poaching days are over. Yep, no dueling feats for me. Not that time, anyway. Let me just get this chest and I'll be back for you guys. Ambush three. That's got to be good, right? Aloha, Mora. Now then, Freed which one of you is Biscuit? Oh, do I gotta catch Biscuit? There's one. All right, Biscuit. Let's get you back to Gone Off, shall we? Oh, that works. You just have to catch enough of them until she finally says, Oh, that one's the Biscuit. What are you up to now? Returning Biscuits. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Both Biscuit fine. is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Oh, broke a sweat. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my yeah. faith in wizard kind. Beast biscuit and I can't thank you enough. How does that one look? Oh, come on, I'm kind of liking our, whatchamacallit, dragon robe here, whatever it is. Beast rescuer. Is that it? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that one too. We might actually have to be able to have long hair with that. Yeah, and all the, the metal jobbies match um, the outfit we're wearing. Sure, we'll wear that for a bit. And then, is it going to be nighttime? Uh, possibly. It might just be kind of a foggy day. <clears throat> Where is the hair place? Because I'm not really liking her in this hairstyle. Whoa. What was that? Revelio. I don't know. Something was making a noise, though. What was this? Oh, that's that one place. We never did go in there. Hopefully that's helpful for all of you guys. You don't need to go in there for any demi guys. Oh, it is nighttime. Okay, let's head to the castle, to the library. Library, library. Where is it? Where was that demi guys? It's further on, isn't it? Down here. What do we have here? A demi guys. Yeah. Where? Not here. Down here. Right? What was it back here? Oh, the field of view. I do not like it. Is it right here? It is right here. Isn't it not nighttime? Alright then. Off on another adventure, are we? Well, I thought it was nighttime, so I wanted to get a demi guys, but apparently it's not nighttime enough. So let's go over here for a second. Oh, that's what else we need to do is sell off our. Nothing to calls? identify. Oh, for I thought now, I had least. something. All right then, let's go sell all those moon calves. Since apparently it's not nighttime. Come in. 
in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. All right. Sell a bunch of you. Should be some decent money. Yep, poaching pays pretty well. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. And change our hairstyle, because I'm not really liking the short hair. And, oh, and we were supposed to go help that one girl too. Totally forgot about her in our moon calf thing. Come on in, come on in. Don't be shy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the color, but go with what was it this one? That'll work. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. Almost looks like Hermione's hair. Not the color, but the style. Yeah, that works. Kinda. We'll We've see how we like it after a while. Alright, we're... It's gotta be nighttime now. Alright, where was it? Library? Right there. Mind yes. now, demigod. Finally. Sheesh. Alright, where else? In Hogwarts, would demi guys be? Yeah, there's Sebastian. I guess we'll go ahead and talk to him since he's right here. You're here. Brilliant. I'm here. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. This doesn't He's sound this like way. a great idea. Okay, let's go. He's always taking forever to get going. Can we go like we've got somewhere to be? Come on. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Okay, can you... There he is. No. Oh. Good luck. Yeah, he doesn't really like us here? from what I remember. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, She'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope <coughs> I, we don't regret this. Sebastian, over here! These braids grant access to the scriptorium. 
Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically <coughs> begged. It wasn't you who told me what I wanted to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. Is he standing right next to the door? I'm guessing it's right here. Okay. Revelio. Remember, three braziers are involved. Confringo! Someone was actually listening. I do that. Occasionally. You gotta do it in the right order. We're ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. Lumos. No comment. Come on, that was oh, a you good do one. Lumos and disillusionment at the Lumos. same time. What's this? Looks like a locked door. We may want to prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He knows how, knows how I access the corridor's entrance, and that there is no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead, and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt, ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew, and didn't tell me. Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. Okay, so can we move ahead? Maybe something to this pile of rubble. Oh, well, of course. The one time I've neglected to have what's it called on? Para. The rubble formed a relief of a person Lewis. facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Lumos. There's no clear way forward. There's like a snake a maze. right there. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Revelio. Lumos. So there's a torch. There's this snake here. Oh. We just use it. Revelio. Lumos. And there's this way. And last one. Lumos. Yeah, ouch. I'm guessing there's going to be some bad snake stuff to deal with. Salazar Slytherin buried his scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I'm a descendant, yet I feel unwelcome. 
Lighting these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. This journal entry, <coughs> it mentions getting locked. The dial requires focus. Uh, Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Okay. We'll take the upper one. Lower one. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Okay. That was wrong, obviously. This is looking rather dire, isn't it? You sound surprised. We are in a maze designed by Salazar Slytherin. Symbols, and there are symbols on the dial. Lumos. I didn't realize it was actually hurting me. Okay, <clears throat> I guess we gotta look at the symbols on the gate. Okay, so it's that squarish one and a scratched out one. It looks kind of like uh, I don't know, some sort of skull head with horns. That's that one. And this one. There we go. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <coughs> nice work. Is that so? Okay, so the I don't know, sun and moon and the infinity snake. Another gate. Seems oh, which one? To play which games. way? I don't remember. Sun and Moon was up here. Look in a mirror, and the Infinity Snake was on the bottom. That sounded promising. So Another dial solved. Which way to go Impressive. first? I'm nice supposed to go this way first. And down here. We don't have anything. Confringo! Lumos. This one says, I failed the dial and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. This scriptorium must have proof that there's more to our legacy than meets the eye. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. So I'm guessing down the Lewis. other gate is going to be the actual symbols we need to change that one to. Yep. So, fish thing and triangle thing. We got more pages. Extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we've become. I know it. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Yeah, all that parcel mouth in the background is kind of another unnerving. Not the welcoming sort, was he? That one and triangle. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. It doesn't look like we can actually light these ones up. They light automatically. Well, it looks like she wrote something on the floor there. Why can't the I gate. Move? I think we're locked in. Again. Ruscio. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Oh, that's what was moving. So we gotta do the Crucio. 
I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Sal Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. Ominous. <coughs> a skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could I have been avoided. Fact. Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Well, we don't have much choice, I don't think. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. Um, yeah, we're not going to learn it this playthrough. I don't want to learn the curse, but I can handle the pain. It's fine. Cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ready? I'm ready. excruciating but I'll survive let's keep moving we made it we found Salazar Slytherin scriptorium I can't believe we're here and all we got was a crappy scarf Sebastian ominous there's a book just here you found something you two go yeah, ahead I always Let find me know all the good stuff I wander around a bit. may I have a look when there's good stuff to get anyway is there a demiguys in here? I guess it wouldn't be a good place for one. What do we got here? I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter. 
thoughts he had not yet put to voice to you. I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought, one who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. So that'd be reference to the Chamber of Secrets. We can just drink some... <laughs> no, I'm not going to drink hundreds of years old, whatever that is. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. <laughs> I don't want to leave, but I owe you, both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. Yep. We must swear never to do this again. Why would we do that? Lumos. Finding secrets is what we do. Ah, that's the way out. So talk to the snake, boy. Come on. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Slytherin dungeon. And we go alone. That can't be good. Ominous. Oh. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. Oh, this Slytherin I dungeon. I what I said before. We swear right now never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again understood i'm truly sorry about your aunt ominous i suppose after all this i am grateful to know what happened to her thank you in the shadow of the study well i think with that and with the lack of finding of any demi guises, we'll probably just leave this and maybe it will actually be part 22. We'll see. We actually did get something worthwhile done with that Crucio business and Slytherin's Revelia. area, his scriptorium. Got another chest over here. Let me grab that real quick. I don't know why we can't read Slytherin's spell book. We can read as well as uh, Sebastian can. But yes, I think with that we shall leave it and have to leave everything else for a further part. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll probably cut down a lot of the running around stuff as usual because this recording has gone pretty long and see you in the next part which will be a full part for sure if this one's not but thanks for watching see you next time goodbye <laughs>